everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. Uh, today I'm here kind of late in the day filming a video. We have been crazy busy all day long. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to hear my husband in the background installing a new television because the Mayweather or whatever fight is on tonight and he and my dad are gonna watch it on a new big screen TV and so he's over there doing his thing and I'm over here doing my thing so it is what it is. What I wanna to talk to you about today is kind of a product review, I guess. Um, yesterday I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and I saw my friend Joy post a question to her followers which was, do any of you guys back plan? If you don't know what back planning is or if you're not really into the planner community, back planning is basically the idea of using your planner as more than just something to plan out your week ahead of time and budget your time. Um, you actually start using it as kind of a retroactive journal. So at the beginning of the week you sit down and you write in all the things that you know you have coming up like an appointment um, or a conference call or anything like that. But then as your week goes on you kind of go back into your planner and you journal. You talk about things you did that day, fun things that your baby did, or new milestones that your toddler achieved, who knows what. And so Joy's post really got me thinking about this and how I could use my planner a little bit better to document things that are happening in our lives. Joy was mentioning a camera that she's been using to take kind of instant film pictures for her planner and I thought that is such a great idea Then maybe that's something that I'll start doing. But I hadn't thought much of it until today when my husband and I were at Best Buy. Um, again, we were buying a television and we got a $50 Best Buy gift card with it. And as we were walking out, we ended up down the camera aisle and I came across the Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 and I ended up picking one up. This is a little bit different than what the camera that my friend Joy is using, but this is what I saw and I've had my eye on this for a long time because it is so retro looking. The color that I picked is one that's gonna match perfectly with the lining of my new Lily Jade bag, which I thought just might be here today and it didn't show up, so. Um, so what I'm gonna do is kinda show you how this works and what I plan on using this for, just in case back planning or journal planning is something that you're interested in and you want to try out something like this. So this camera is actually an instant film camera, just like the old, Polaroid cameras that some of us might remember from a long time ago. It does come with an optional wrist strap, which I think is pretty cool. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna leave this on mine or not. I kinda like how slimline it looks without it. You have a viewfinder right here on the back of the camera, and you have a little counter down here underneath the viewfinder that counts down the number of pictures that you have left until you're out of film. What I think I'm loving most about this camera is that it actually has some intelligent features to it, which I was not expecting when I purchased it. You can see right up here at the top that you actually have five different lighting settings. I thought when I first saw this that this was related to applying some kind of filter to your picture on the front end, but these are actually not filters. This is how you teach your camera what kind of lighting you are in when you take the picture. So you can choose from indoor, overcast, bright sunny, and really, really sunny. And you also have a high key option which is there to really, really enhance the light if you're in a super dark place. So at any time, I can tell this camera exactly what kind of lighting I want it to use, which is pretty cool. But the intelligent feature of this camera is that you actually can point the camera at whatever it is you're about to take a picture of, and the camera will sense the lighting in the room, and it will let you know what light setting it thinks you should use. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and show you how this works. To turn it on, all I do is press this button over here on the side, and the lens immediately pops out. So let's say that I'm gonna take a picture of my camera. Um, all I do is point it right where I want to take the picture. And now if I flip this upward, you can actually see that the camera has lit up the indoor option. This light has turned red telling me I'm pretty sure we're inside and I'm pretty sure that you need this lighting that is meant for inside pictures. Now if I wanted to, if I disagreed that this is indoor lighting, I can just rotate this little ring here on the front and I can set the camera to whatever lighting I think it needs to be. After I played with this for a little while, I went outside and I took a selfie, which I'll show you how you can do that on this camera in a minute. And using the proper light settings, I actually got a pretty nice shot. So I've gotta say, overall, I think it takes a pretty nice photo, especially for something that's this small and that's printed automatically with no digital functioning whatsoever. What's really cool about this camera is that you can take selfies with it, and whereas you might be used to an iPhone or any kind of smartphone where you can flip the camera around so that you can see what you're taking a picture of, this obviously doesn't have something like that. 
but it has the next best thing, and that is a tiny little mirror right here on the side of the lens. What this does is not only let you touch up your hair and your makeup or anything, what it's really supposed to do is help you figure out how to set up your shot. This is how you know if your entire face is in the shot, if you need to hold it further away or closer to yourself. So it's functioning a lot like the reverse uh, camera effect that you have on your iPhone or smartphone. It's just analog instead of digital. When you're ready to take your photo, all you do is hold it out, point it at whatever you want to take a picture of, take your picture, and it immediately pops out of the top. No cutting, no nothing, it just pops right out. When you're done, all you have to do is just pop this back in, and the camera is now off, and your lens is protected with a little shutter that closes automatically. I'm super excited about this. I am gonna be using it in my Erin Condren planner for sure. One of the things that I'm thinking about doing now that I am at a point in my pregnancy um, where I am having a noticeable bump that does seem to be getting bigger week by week is I think that I'm gonna start taking a bump picture each week and putting it maybe somewhere in my planner, either over here or maybe up here on the thankful thought box and just write a note in of how many weeks I am or maybe how much I weigh or anything like that so that I have kind of a visual representation of how my pregnancy progressed week by week. And then I can also just paste in here any photos of me and Roman or me and my husband of any fun things that we did throughout the week so that when the year is over and I do my flip through from the entire year, I can look through it and not just see what I had going on, but actually see really special, precious pictures of me and my family. So you guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for putting up with all that I have going on here between noises in the background and my messy Jeep hair. <laughs> um, I'll be back tomorrow with my plan with me, so if you want to catch that, make sure that you're subscribed and you've hit the little bell down below so that you get a notification when it uploads. I have started putting special content on Twitter and on Instagram that doesn't come on my YouTube channel, so if you want to catch those things, go to the description box down below. I have links to all of my social media. That's where you can get kind of special content that you can't see here. And also sometimes you'll get special insights into stuff that's going on at the Sensible Mama that other people might not know about. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.